All right, guys, as you saw in the previous video, we're having problems with Mason's truck getting the turbo to spool up because it has a low stall converter. So obviously we had, this is the transmission out of Mason's truck. It also has an overdrive issue that we just cannot figure out. So we're having to pull back out again. We're gonna hopefully get that figured out. And we have the transmission out of the Fummins here. So this is the torque converter that was in Mason's truck. This is a 12 volt high stall ATS converter. You guys have probably seen it in the older videos if you've been subscribing. Or just in a, within a couple months ago, we had, we pulled it out for some reason. I can't remember why. And this is the high stall converter that was in the Fummins. So we're gonna take this high stall and put it in that truck so that way that it'll come up higher on the charger. And we'll just put the low stall back in the Fummins because it doesn't really matter. But now we're going to get this thing flipped over and pull the valve body out of it and try to manually apply air to the overdrive piston, see if we can hear it applying it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just go from there. should be able to hear that piston apply overdrive and then we're going to yeah try to i mean that's basically the whole goal behind doing this is, is trying to figure out why we don't have overdrive if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know we have tried putting power directly to the solenoid the solenoid does click um, the anteater is definitely applying it it just simply will not go in so hopefully we can get this issue figured out because the truck really needs overdrive to race he can race without overdrive but you really got to run the RPMs up high at the end of the track. And it's probably losing a little speed because of that, but yeah. It is now Wednesday. Bailey just got here. He's picking up his turbo. He went ahead and just gonna do a little unboxing on all the parts and stuff he got to be second gen swapping his 04 Dodge out there. Gonna be going to a second gen style manifold with a S369. Got a fleece oil line got his drain here this is the bd i believe it's a 40 inch drain is it or 32 something like that these in my opinion are the best drains that you can get for doing turbo swaps and stuff like that they're just easy to use they're easy to put on you don't have to cut anything to length you just bend it how you want it and you're done looks like he's got a couple clamps there and then he's got this fleece oil feed line it's really nice it's got like a rubber coating on it pretty reasonably priced by the time you buy all these fittings 
and uh, buy the hose and, and put this protective layer on it, you'd have more than what they charge for it. So that's definitely worth it there. Can't argue with that. Got the cat climbing on the tire. Um, we are waiting on a transmission cooler for Mason's truck. We're going to be putting the same style transmission cooler that is on my truck and Bailey's truck on Mason's. But until that gets here, I am probably going to go ahead and pull the Ford back in here so I can get the uh, torque converter or the transmission put back in it because obviously we had it out for the torque converter swap. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm just going to move the trucks here in a second and start getting mine put back together. Pouring down rain. We ended up going ahead and getting Mason's truck put all the way back together. We're just still waiting on the trans cooler, but we went ahead and hooked the factory lines up. So we're gonna back this thing up and start uh, checking the fluid, get the fluid filled all the way up, and maybe go out and see how it does coming up on the charger with the high stall converter in it. So, well, you can test them for a drive in the driveway. Crack the door a little bit. This is the next event we will be at if any of you guys are going to be there right here. It'd be cool to see some of you guys out there. See if we overdrive now See if it'll spool now, even though still it has no overdrive for whatever magical reason. See how this high stall spools.
right guys we got the transmission put back in the thumbins the low stall converter we're gonna go drive this thing and see how it does the idle is so low that the truck will die the truck will literally die if you just tap the throttle so i'm dealing with that guys that is going to wrap up the end of the video for tonight this has been up to like three days now in this video but um, tonight we did get both transmissions put back in the trucks mason truck is coming up on boost a lot better and he's able to launch a lot harder and my truck currently doesn't idle anymore because the converter stall is so aggressive but that's no big deal i just have to turn the idle up a little bit um, i did take it for a drive and it's it's a lot different um i'm sure for towing and stuff it would be nice but i don't really tow with the truck so um i probably will get another high stall converter for it just because i i liked it a lot more it made power up the 5.9 it makes power higher up in the rpm so the low stall for me i just don't really care for it but anyways um, that is going to wrap up the end of the video if you guys uh, like the like the video uh, hit the like button subscribe leave a comment let us know what you think let us know what you're excited to see on the channel and we will see you guys on the next one